after we switch on the nonlinear junction detector. It uh, doesn't need a cal calibration, but an adaptation. Doesn't need ca calibration, but adaptation. It must adapt to the surrounding. Okay. <coughs> Usually, classical nonlinear junction detectors uh, are calibrated uh, by searching uh, the free space on the diapason. But uh, because our nonlinear junction detector works at a, di a slightly different principle, uh, is uh, our adaptation is uh, leveling all the sensitivity at all the frequency. Because we don't uh, use a narrow band receiver, but a wide band receiver. That's why we need uh, for at all parts of the diapason uh, the same level of sensitivity. That's what you were asking about. How is it done after turning on the device? We press uh, button mode, uh, direct our device and hold it. And uh, it must be directed, uh, for example, to the area where there is no uh, MOM structures or uh, semiconductor. To the ceiling, to the floor, or to the other space. So, after we push and hold it, all the scales light up. And the uh, operator has an opportunity to check whether all the segments light up. The nonlinear junction detector is calibrated. In this ca uh, case, it's a camera. We can even lower the sensitivity. Clearly shows red. Microphone. Wi wired. Uh, it shows that there is a wire there. And in here we can see a very high level of MLM structure. But uh, it, you will be able to test it all. Microphone. Microphone. Metal, ну, видимо, что-то чуть-чуть загорается. Это кто у нас? Сим карта. Сим карт. Миниатюрный радиомикрофон. Миниатюр радио трансмиттер. То есть все достаточно честно показывает. It shows clearly. It would be much more interesting if you could uh, do it yourself and uh, not being showed by me.